Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today on one of our how-to guides. My name is Debbie and I'm going to be showing you how to create a really on-trend wedding table centre arrangement using just dried flowers. We're keeping to a very neutral colour palette, so appropriate for many different settings and scenarios. So I'm going to introduce what I'm using. I'm going to be using some dried and preserved hydrangea. These are so beautiful, almost like lace. Then I have some natural wooden roses, and as the name suggests, they're a rose made from wood. <laughs> then we have some dried gypsopla, a really fine gypsopla as well, really, really delicate. After that, we have some palm cups, literally almost like a, a wooden cup, really. Lovely brown, neutral tone. Then to add even greater texture, we've got some wild oats. Then we have, keeping very much that very neutral bleached look, we have, whoops, if I can separate it, we have some preserved and dried soft ruscus, and that's been bleached, hence its beautiful ivory colour tone. <clears throat> then we have some natural sun palm. Just be a little bit aware when you're using these that the points on this are incredibly sharp. So we're going sort of like from softness almost to sharp points. And then finally, but by no means least, the ever popular pampas grass. So do have a little look on our website at the moment because pampas grass is currently on sale, coming to the end of its season. So uh, before we get the new stock in, grab yourself a bargain. Available in lots of different colours. Today, for this design, we're going to be using the natural. So that's all my dried products that I'm going to be using. All of those can be found on our website. So go and give us a look. And then my sundries are a piece of dry foam, whoops, like that, a spray tray, some 12 millimetre anchor tape, my trusty scissors, and I might also bring along a pair of secateurs as well, because some of these stems are actually quite hard and wooden. And finally, my container, which is this beautiful wedding stand. It's a 70 centimetre um, stand, it's gold, <laughs> so so appropriate for the weddings coming up. I hope you enjoy.
So I hope you enjoyed our dry display. I've um, got three top tips for you, as always. So top tip number one, this would be a really long-lasting arrangement. So if you're using it for a wedding, you could present it to somebody as a really long-lasting keepsake. And the natural colour palette, or the neutral colour palette, would actually work its way into any kind of decor. Top tip number two, if it is for a wedding, or any event actually, you could make it well in advance, then store it somewhere dust free. Then top tip number three, you could actually apply the same style of design using fresh flowers, and then with fresh flowers you could go for any colour palette. So if you've got a themed wedding, themed event, summer ball or something similar, you could incorporate the colour scheme for that. All right. I hope you've enjoyed our little demonstration today. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Don't forget to like us, share us with your friends, and visit our YouTube channel for lots more tips, hints and inspirational ideas. And don't forget to subscribe there. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.